Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be going over this Grasshopper script that I am uh, kind of updating from that last one that I created. This one is a lot cleaner. It actually um, has it actually differences and subtracts a the actual shape, so it's a lot cleaner both on the inside and outside. Let me show you what I mean. This one, it's actually a solid with no um, nothing in between so they're not overlapping um, so if we go to ghosted here these are actually this is a watertight solid and so this is also uh, good for uh, people that want to 3d print structures like this um, it'll make it so you can turn this into a mesh and then be able to print it so that's one of the reasons why you would want to use a script that creates a like a watertight solid so I'm not sure if you saw the last video so I'll, uh, I'll briefly go over how this was made I'll make sure to add a link to download this script and model and uh, let me know what you think so you start with the basic dome uh, radius which is kinda the the basic outside face of the dome and then that is then turned let me show you here into this shape which is differenced from this object that was moved down so we basically create the dome geometry first that dome is then um, through this box that basically goes outside that initial shape that box is actually contoured so let me show you what I mean this box here is contoured and that is basically how we create the the structure going each way. We're extruding in both directions and at the end we have let me let me show you at the end what with these two extrusions with these two contours we can hide them here and let me show you what we end up with here. These two We have that, which we hide there. So those contours that are extruded are then subtracted. So, so we have so those end up being the the final extrusions here, and then we subtract or we intersect those contours so you don't subtract it you intersect the contours with that initial dome shape or sphere that we have um, it's not up there that's a that's a bounding box around it but we use that sphere to create these contours which I'm going to hide here and those contours that we had from before we subtract another sphere that is offset so we have the outer sphere and we have this inner sphere which gives us uh, let me show you where do we have that so we have this and we have that the top and the bottom and so those are gonna create the structure it basically creates a perfect sphere which we can then hide and just taking that bounding box that goes around that this dome shape we intersect 
um, let's see here. So we take that bounding box here. Uh, okay. So we have these outer ones. And instead of subtracting, what I did was now now I recall is I intersect. So we have that outer ball and this ball, and we intersect with this, which gives us just that half dome that we want. So we can go ahead and hide these. And then this one gives us the fully grouped and union together dome. Then you can go ahead and change the parameters at the thickness. Let's give this a 30 inch spacing. And so, yeah, it is a little bit heavy. And um, it's uh, just because at the end you union it together. It does take a little bit of time to update, but when it does update, it'll be a clean, um, clean model for you to, to use. Okay, so the model has updated and it changed it uh, to what we wanted. And as you can see here, it creates a fairly clean dome and it looks really good. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna bake it, hide it and show you how clean it is. Because um, it doesn't look as clean as, as it would if you render it. So if you go here to like a we go to a quick render. As you can see here, as it's rendering, it's going to create clean intersections. It's going to be clean on the inside and on the outside. It's not doesn't have overlaps. And that's allowed that's made possible by um, the parameters that we use, the spheres that we are intersecting with the planes, and so uh, that's just some uh, some tricks that I that I have to um, you know come up with smoother shapes, not just extruded contours. So let me know uh, let me know what you think. Hopefully you you found this useful and and you can use this for your designs. So here's what the uh, render ended up looking like. It's uh, smooth you know smooth finish on the inside and on the outside if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe uh, because I'll be doing more videos like this and I have other type of videos that might interest you if this is the type of thing that you like thank you very much for watching